I think there's no major progress in relations. Uh, we saw another summit in Santiago de Chile, but no real major events uh, have been taken place. Uh, we have new, a new um, or in, in, uh, an additional action plan with a gender policy and, and uh, investment higher on, on the agenda, but there is no real progress made uh, with regards to EU-Mercosur relations. I think it's first of all because of the rise of China and uh, a, certain, a certain shift uh, uh, of Latin America towards uh, Asia, not just uh, China but also other uh, Asian uh, economies. Uh, we see that uh, Chile, uh, Mexico, Colombia and Peru are part of this uh, Pacific Alliance which looks more and more towards Asia. This is one uh, important uh, factor and then uh, there is also the economic crisis, uh, lower um, investment uh, and, and trade relations between Latin America and the European Union and also a certain neglect uh, uh, of Latin America on the EU foreign policy agenda, which is not new, but there, there is no major change uh, in, in relations. I think uh, the European Union should bring back its, its own brand in the region, uh, which are mainly um, values and norms. Uh, there's no, nothing, uh, no common document between the EU and uh, Latin America with regards to democracy, for example. Uh, then also to um, strengthen more its engagement on, on integration. We have now a first and important step in this sense has been uh, the uh, relationship between the uh, Latin American community CELAC and the summit with the European Union. Uh, but there's no dialogue with UNASUR, for example, and there's no free trade agreement with MERCOSUR. And um, I, I think the, the, um, the policy could also be more, more uh, innovative, more, more engaged with regards to the upcoming agenda, in, uh, the new agenda in Latin America, mainly uh, drugs, uh, security related issues, but also more uh, an increased engagement uh, in economic terms.